Today I've got some awesome news because the Resistance event collections are back, meaning for a short time you can purchase anything that you don't have in the collections. Now before this came back, you would still be able to earn items but only through supply drop if you got a resistant event collection piece. That was the only way to get it, just by chance out of a supply drop. Then last week they did one with the Winter Siege and I thought since they do that they'll probably do other ones and now they've bought resistance. So if there's any weapons you want, anything like that from the collections then this is the chance to do it. It's for the next few days so make sure you nab any items you need while you can. How can you increase the chance of getting lots of good stuff out of this? Well, first of all, you're going to need armoring credits. You should probably have a few thousand anyway, and if you have, then you're going to be able to buy some of the stuff in the collection. But here's what I suggest you do in order to maximize what you get out of the collection. So first, if you've got any supply drops, make sure you open them. If you've got any bribes, open those as well. The reason why this is good is because you can open them and get items. If you've got any duplicates, you'll also earn more armoring credits. Now you can earn lots of supply drops by going to the orders and there'll be daily orders, which allows you to earn supply drops and also armoring credits, which you can use either to buy more supply drops or to buy on stuff in the collections. As well as that, if you go to the contracts, if you've got any armor credits, you can buy lots of supply drops by completing challenges in the contracts. And while the resistance event is back for the next few days, there's also a resistance bribe in there which means you get guaranteed at least one item from the resistance could be anything it's definitely worth going for that and earning that first you need to complete 35 matches and then once you've done that you'll get that bribe so i would do that first like i say earn any supply drops open them open your bribes that kind of thing if you guys also wanted to spend cop points even though i wouldn't suggest that if you've got any lying around you can buy a resistance bribe as well with cop points i think you can buy one of them from the quartermaster so go check that out as well in terms of armor credits you can get that just by logging in and getting your daily bonus then you can also go to the mail office and get there every four hours you get 200 and then like i said some orders normally you have between maybe one and three every day which you complete which will give you 300 armor credits by doing a challenge like winning a game mode or getting a certain number of kills with a certain weapon, getting a certain number of kills in a certain way, that kind of thing. So definitely do all this first. And once you've done all the orders and all the contracts and stuff like that, you can then look through the resistance collections and see what things you need. There was a few things I could get, but I think I want to save my armory credits. So I've only gotten one thing in this set. And what I went for is the also. The reason particularly why it was the also is A, because I don't have the weapon, but also because I looked through my set and after opening all the supply drops and all that stuff, I had previously unlocked the top item in the collection. So the most, most expensive one, I'd already earned that. And then the third most expensive one, I'd already got that. So it means I only needed to buy the air quotes, which is just under 2000, the Python for just over a thousand, and then the other things for about 500 if you add them all together. So it cost me a few thousand, but a few thousand army credits for a weapon is really good. So once I bought all those things in the collection, I then obviously got the also. Now there's other weapons, there's some melee weapons, but I'm not really bothered about those. There's also like the Volk, but I already earned that from a contract a while ago. So I didn't need it. Obviously it gives you a different variant, but I'm not interested in that. And it's given a couple other things, but I wasn't really interested in those weapons. But before you go ahead and try and buy stuff to get a weapon in a certain collection make sure you just check you haven't already got the weapon first because a couple of times I've almost gone to buy something then checked in the class and realized I already have that weapon it'll probably give you a different variant but you might already have some of the weapons so just make sure you check before that happens otherwise it's kind of a waste I think but yeah buy any items from supply drops armory credits whatever bribes buy them all first then look through the collections and then once you know what you want to go for and you know if you've got any items of it already then it makes it a bit easier so like i say i went for the also it's good you've seen some gameplay with it now i quite enjoyed it it's not the best weapon but it's definitely decent and it's nice that they brought this back maybe it could be them just being nice but I feel like there could be something else involved. And I'll talk about that in another video. I'm not going to buy anything more because it would cost too much. Like there's a couple of pistols I could get, but it would cost me like 10, 15,000. It's not worth it. So, but yeah, here are the tips. And that is how to get any resistance items you want that you haven't done so already. If you've got any other ideas or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section and let me know what weapons and collections and stuff you guys get. Uh, in the comment section as well. I avoid all the outfits exclusively. When they're charging something like 10, 15,000 just for a special outfit, it looks ridiculous. When I could get a weapon with that, so I avoid the outfits. But but yeah, I hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you leave a like and to keep up to date with the latest challenges and guides and that kind of thing, make sure you're subscribed as well and uh, turn on notifications. That would really help me out. But thanks very much, and I'll see you guys on the next video.